Overdentures are a very, very important phase of dentistry today. Uh, there are a lot of people out there, uh, especially with lower dentures, who've lost a lot of their bone and they're trying to wear a denture and the denture will not stay down. Uh, they have constant sore spots, they can't eat, their nutrition uh, is, is poor. The self-esteem is pretty much uh, not that great because their lower teeth are flopping around in their mouth. Uh, so uh, overdentures are very, very important. What an overdenture basically is, it's a denture that actually attaches to something in the mouth so the denture will stay down. It doesn't come up, okay? It will be fixed into place. And uh, originally these were supported by remnants of teeth. There'd be teeth left and we put attachments into the teeth and they make the overdenture to stay in. But with the advent of implants, we have a much better way of doing this. Generally now, with most overdentures, what I would recommend is the patient to have uh, some implants placed uh, in their mouth and then uh, we basically add an attachment onto the implant an attachment into the denture and then the denture just snaps down and locks onto those attachments and now the patient has a fixed uh, type of appliance that they can uh, eat on. It's not going to come bouncing out of their mouth and uh, it, it's, all, it's all the difference in the world. They're comfortable, uh, they have, it improves their self-esteem, it improves their nutrition and it, it's just a win-win all around and overall not, hor not horribly, horribly expensive and uh, it's just a tremendous, tremendous uh, uh, benefit for these patients who've really been suffering with a, uh, uh, an ill-fitting lower denture due to loss of the bone in their mouth. Uh, it, it really can be a tremendous help. There are two types of overdentures out there um, and basically what's placed are these little, they're called mini implants, are placed uh, in the bone and they can get some retention right away from them. The problem with these types of implants is they really are not long lasting. Uh, it's not really a permanent solution. It does give them an immediate benefit, but as far as for the long term, those will eventually will fail. A better treatment option is to have some uh, standard implants placed uh, that will integrate and probably be in the air if, if they're taken care of properly and maintained, uh, generally for the life of the patient. And that's, in my opinion, is really the way to go uh, for the long term. And generally, uh, depending on the patient and the bone and what needs to be done to get the implants in there, usually uh, once the implants are placed, it's usually uh, two to three months before we can actually attach to the implants. Uh, if the patient needs a graft, it could be longer. So again, it really has to be looked at on, on a case-by-case -case basis uh, as far as uh, how long it takes uh, to get treated for something like this. It can be a matter of, of a few months to you know up to six months, depending on the patient's unique situation. If any patient uh, who is suffering from an ill-fitting denture uh, wants more information about overdenture dentistry, pick up the phone and give our office a call. We'll offer you a complimentary consultation. We'll evaluate your situation and offer you a treatment plan that's going to be best suited for your uh, personal problem.